Billy and Steph are on camera together again. And unsurprisingly, Steph still doesn't quite get it. I couldn't understand your thought process into the onesies. It just proves the point that it's just going to be a joke. And I just couldn't see past that. Any bride at a wedding want to look no, better. No, you than no, not big onesies. So I'm no, taking that one with me. No. That's that's my pinnacle, my pinnacle answer that you'll always get off me. You look better. I know bridesmaids, and that is the main thing. I was upset, like, I was... That's I the one thing, the one thing. Yeah, I didn't obviously know you were going to be upset. I probably knew you wanted to took it amazingly. But I didn't obviously understand how upset it would have made you. So obviously, I wouldn't to... I'd have definitely reconsidered not doing it. God. Billy's big idea came from Steph's nickname, but that left a nasty taste in their mouths. We don't call each other Piggy anymore, no. by the way. That, that went, after, I think, day after the wedding. <laughs> no pig stuff, no piggies. I don't know where this one's come from, but we call each other Moo now. Yeah. <laughs> Still not very affectionate. I don't plan on getting married again <laughs> no, on a, on a, with on. cows around me. I've got no intention of that whatsoever. Moving on, Billy still hasn't come clean on how much the stag cost. I think we've had a discussion on how much I've, I've, I've spent on stag do. Well, I've probably just over £2,000, to be honest. And what about my hen do? Well, your hen do... £100? Yeah, you're the best part of 250 quid. Oh, right, compared to 2000 Yeah, tell me. <laughs> I had done all hard work. I, were, I felt like I needed a, a break for the first week. Yeah. All preparation while wow. you were just chilling at your mum's. The big question is, though, would Billy do anything differently, given the chance? The worst bit for me during the whole three-week period, and it's going to sound really bad, probably when I see Steph's face coming down the aisle, um, it should be the happiest moment of your life. Um, but when I, when I seen how mad you were, it kinda, I kind of thought to myself, wow, I've, I've messed up here. I, uh, I really did. For, for, a, for a minute, I generally thought she won't want to marry me. <laughs> Luckily, this piggy partnership did go ahead, and Steph looks back on it with tears in her eyes. <gasps> and not just because of that smell. I think I do regret that initial reaction, getting out of the car and like storming down the aisle and not not being able to look at you. I think I just got caught up in the moment and I I couldn't picture obviously past that and what you had planned, all the effort that had gone into it. So yeah, that is one of my regrets that I can't redo walking down the aisle and just smiling. I realised it's you behind it all, like this is the big show, but it's still just me and you, like Billy and Sarah. After the wedding, Billy and Steph honeymooned on the glorious Greek island of Santorini and are now the proud parents of three-year-old Elodie and baby Albie. But after all these years, Billy still believes his whiffy wedding idea actually helped their relationship. I think one thing that might have done is, obviously, Steph's seen as probably as daft, not as daft as I could have been, but she's, she's gone through this with me now, and I think to myself, obviously, I've kind of proved that she, she is the one. You know that was a bad idea. Yeah, a bad idea. <laughs>